From a stabilized approach, a perfect landing passes over the runway threshold at a safe altitude and transitions to the desired touchdown pitch attitude in the minimum distance, followed by a zero foot per minute rate of descent when the wheels touch. The key to a perfect landing is arriving at the target landing pitch attitude shortly before touchdown. Minimum landing distance is achieved by rotating to the target attitude at a constant pitch rate, beginning at flare height. In practice, this is achieved by comparing height above the ground with pitch attitude, so that the target pitch attitude is reached just before touchdown. A perfect landing would have the wheels touch at a rate of descent of 0 feet per minute, but a rate of descent of 200 feet per minute is considered to be a smooth landing. The target landing attitude must have the nose wheel well off the ground and adequate tail clearance. When this attitude is observed experimentally, either during a desirable landing or during takeoff, the visual picture through the windshield must be committed to memory. This is the desired sight picture shortly before the wheels touch the ground. We will now let the computer simulation demonstrate a perfect landing. For this jet transport, we have determined that the desired touchdown pitch attitude is 5.75 degrees. Notice that the perfect landing initial conditions require a degree of accuracy in flare height and pitch rate that are unattainable in practice. Therefore, the perfect landing essentially becomes an objective to aim at rather than achieve. Combined with pilot skill and experience in the aircraft, aiming for the perfect landing routinely results in a good landing where the landing attitude is on target and the rate of descent is at or less than 200 feet per minute. As we repeat the perfect landing, after flare height is reached, notice the gradual change in pitch attitude with decreasing altitude as power is gradually reduced to idle. In particular, note that the target pitch attitude of 5.75 degrees is reached prior to touchdown at approximately 3 feet, after which the rate of descent continues to decrease to zero as the wheels touch. There is target attitude. And touchdown at zero feet per minute. The landing data page shows the results. In practice, small errors will either result in a premature touchdown or a float prior to touchdown. This demonstration shows a premature touchdown caused by a low flare height or insufficient pitch rate or both. The rate of descent is within the 200 foot per minute range for a smooth touchdown. This demonstration shows flare height and pitch rate errors resulting in a float prior to touchdown. The touchdown distance will be approximately 860 feet longer than the theoretical perfect landing. The target landing pitch attitude for a jet transport has a nose wheel height that is sufficiently high so that a small reduction in pitch attitude is allowed. 
The perfect landing profile shows that touchdown occurs slightly more than two seconds after the target landing attitude has been reached. Therefore, in this case, where errors result in floating, we will see the effects of pitching down one degree three seconds after reaching target touchdown pitch attitude. Note that the float distance has been reduced from 860 feet to less than 390 feet. In this demonstration, we will reduce the pitch attitude by one degree immediately upon reaching the target pitch attitude. This results in a touchdown distance that is 325 feet shorter than the perfect landing profile, with a touchdown rate of descent of only 210 feet per minute. Let's summarize the practical landing procedure. At flare height, compare pitch attitude with height above the ground as power is reduced, reaching the target pitch attitude shortly before touchdown. If a premature touchdown occurs, accept the result. If hoping for a zero foot per minute touchdown rate, wait for three seconds after reaching the target pitch attitude. If touchdown has not occurred by this time, pitch down by one half to one degree to eliminate the float. If the absolute shortest landing distance is desired, pitch down one half degree to one degree immediately after reaching the target touchdown pitch attitude.